Aloha from San Diego, California. Hello, my pineapples. My name is C.T. McGee, and I am the Aloha Guru. Now, last week, I heard from several of my friends all around the country who are working as essential workers. Now, these people are our brave American men and women still working the front lines, not only to keep our country safe, but to also keep our society going. Now, listen, I know these are extremely difficult times for everyone, but I wanted to take a moment to acknowledge these essential workers because not only are they working so many hours, but also because they are putting themselves and their families in danger every day. So I wrote a poem that I'm calling my Pandemic Anthem 2020, and it is a tribute to essential workers. Here you go. I hook up your internet or Netflix you will not get. It's so scary going in your home, not sure if you've been alone. I've been under so much stress, tight heavy feelings in my chest, legs grew weak, had chest pains, heart rate taken off like a jet plane. I ended up in the ER, had to wish on a lucky star. I thought it was a heart attack. Those with COVID didn't have my back. Don't want to bring it home to my wife. She's my love. She is my life. Nothing in the world can make him stop while here I am. Sucking on a lollipop. I'm still working at your Costco where everybody seems to go when they all need rolls of TP. There's enough for you and me. Hey, lady, there's a limit. No separate orders. Just wait a minute. Have to shout through plexiglass. Cannot breathe in my own mask. There's no chicken. There's only cod. One more day, I swear to God. Sorry, ma'am. We're out of bleach. Not my fault. Guess I'm no peach. There's always something coming my way. But I get to work every day. Nothing in the world can make her stop while here I am. Sucking on a lollipop. You don't let your fear stop you. You are my new heroes too. With your courage, you cannot lose. To keep going is what you choose. I'm still fixing automatic doors for the hospitals and the stores. Riding all over the county, I drive my van out just to see that your business is safe and sound. Your door stuck, sure, I'll come round. Nothing in the world can make him stop while here I am. Sucking on a lollipop. I run the help desk for IT for a hospital. Don't you see? If something fails, I'm the first call. Doctors, nurses, got them all. If things don't work as they should, treating the patients won't be good. Nothing in the world can make her stop while well, here I am. Sucking on a lollipop. You don't let your fear stop you. You are my new heroes too. With your courage, you cannot lose. To keep going is what you choose. Working as a nurse in New York, I love my job, but stick a fork. In my staff going 13 hours straight, don't see your families working so late. There's not enough protective gear. 18 got sick, so I hear. Nothing in the world can make her stop while well, here I am. Sucking on a lollipop. I'm still working as a registered nurse in Rhode Island where I feel cursed. My patients can't see my smile. No healing touch or hug for a while. Dying alone, all they want to hear is a loving voice inside their ear. Nothing in the world can make her stop while well, here I am. Sucking on a lollipop. You don't let your fear stop you. You are my new heroes too. With your courage you cannot lose. To keep going is what you choose. If you can then I can. If he can then she can. If they can then we can. All together say yes we can. Okay, so in that poem, I just wanted to take a moment to express my gratitude and compassion. This poem was written from real input that I received from real people and actual events going on in the country right now. Do you know what? One of my friends, her husband is an internet service provider. So that means he goes in people's homes and makes sure that they have internet service, right? Well, some of those homes had COVID patients and they didn't tell him. In the meantime, his wife is at home with an autoimmune issue. So if he brought that home to her, what do you think would happen? Another friend of mine is in total charge of a whole IT department for a healthcare system. So that's just a little bit of pressure, right? Another friend of mine works at a Costco where, yeah, customers are hammering her with one complaint after another. I also have friends who are nurses all around the country. In one of them, 18 of her staff got sick. 16 recovered 
but still, that's 18 got sick. And so you would just imagine having to be quarantined from their families as well. Another nurse has been witnessing nothing but suffering and death all around her. Imagine being the last person that people see before they die because their own friends and family can't be with them. That is a lot to carry. I also mentioned my husband in this poem. My husband travels all around San Diego County and he installs and repairs automatic doors. So that means he installs and repairs automatic doors for hospitals, for all kinds of stores, hotels, the airports, psych wards, bomb shelters, private homes, and senior living communities. Now, when we think of doors, we think of access, but doors are all about safety as well. If those doors don't work, the people inside those facilities are not safe, nor are their goods and services. So my goal with this poem was to bring awareness and to express gratitude to all you brave men and women out there working on the front lines, doing your jobs, and to help keep our society going. Listen, I know I'm not saving lives. I know I'm not putting food on your tables, and I know that I'm not paying your mortgage. Right now, I can't even help pay my own mortgage. So you might not even like my poem, but I hope you see that I'm just showing my support and my gratitude for my fellow men and women. I want you to know that I hear you, I see you, and I feel you, and I'm feeling a lot of suffering right now. So all I can do is share my love, kindness, compassion, and encourage you to do the same. I also know it's a really rough time for many of you stay-at-home working warriors, especially if you have children at home with you. But I'm just asking you for today to take a moment to express your gratitude for those essential workers. Now listen, let's take a look at what really is essential in our lives right now. We all need oxygen, water, food, clothing, roof over our heads, and um, we need internet service as well, right? But we also need six other things. We also need love, kindness, compassion, peace, mercy, and affection in some way, shape, or form. These are our real tools for survival, not just now, but for always. We are all suffering to some degree right now, but you can still have compassion for yourself and for others, especially those essential workers if you see them. Offer them a cup of coffee, express your gratitude, give them a smile, tell them that they're doing a great job, and thank them for going to work that day. Do not complain to them or give them your words. They are caring enough. Instead, find a way to show them that you love them. You know, last week's daily affirmations, one of my, your daily alohas was, I will be the light. We can all choose to comfort, encourage, and to help each other rebuild our lives. In these dark times, I'm going to ask you to choose to stand in the light. If you have any good or positive in your life today, I'm going to ask you to share some of that light and reflect it onto someone else who needs it most. Find a way to share anything positive in your life with them. Find a way to share your good fortune to help others find their way in the darkness. Give them a helping hand, lend them an ear to their worries, and offer them encouragement. It may be just enough to turn their lives around and to give them a reason to keep going and to give your life more meaning and purpose. Stand in the light, my pineapple. And if you cannot find the light, be the light. Be the light, my pineapples. From San Diego, peace, love, and aloha. See you next time.